Hey there, welcome back to another video. My name is Pradyumn Nasraf and I am a developer advocate at Lifecycle, specializing in Go and DevOps development. In this video, we will explore how to use Prevy with AWS LightSail. If you are not familiar with Prevy, it's a robust open source CLI tool developed by Lifecycle. Prevy is designed to streamline the creation of preview environments for your project and provide shareable URLs for quick, easy team feedback. Although Preview supports various drivers like AWS, Google Cloud, Azure, Kubernetes cluster, our focus today will be on AWS. As you can see, I am already on the repo page. Feel free to contribute to our work and give it a star to show your support. Your contribution and support help us continually improve and make this tool more useful for developer community. For this demonstration, I am using a repo that I have created under Lifecycle organization so that you can easily try out. Let's switch back to VS Code and understand the repo components and see preview in action. This project includes a backend, a frontend, and a database. If we open a Docker Compose file, you will see there are three components backend, database, and frontend. We are using Node.js for backend and MariaDB for database. Before we dive in, ensure you have following prerequisite Docker and Docker Compose, AWS credentials, and Node.js installed. With these tools at your disposal, you are ready to create your own preview environment. Please also make sure your Docker is running. Detailed installation guidance step for each driver can be found in the docs. For this, we are using AWS LightSail and intuitive cost-effective services that suits our need. Now let's switch back to VS Code. Next, let's set up the AWS credentials using the AWS configure command. We will leave this empty, this also. Now let's install Preview. Now let's clear up the terminal. Following that, we are going to set up a profile using Preview init command. A profile acts as a persistent storage for preview configuration data. You can store this data either locally or in a storage like S3 or Google Storage for continuous integration. You can also create multiple profiles. For this demo, we will save it locally and set up a profile for light sale. We can choose any reason we want. We will choose local files. Now that our profile is set up, let's run preview up command. As we can see, it provided us shareable URLs for different services. Let's now navigate to URL we receive. It is working fine. Let's make some modification to index.js and again run preview up command. This time it took less time to deploy because the layer are already cached. We can head over to the URL and refresh it. As you can see, our new changes has been deployed and now showing up in the URL. This kind of preview environment make it super convenient to receive feedback easily and quickly. We just need to run preview up command each time. 
Now let's head back to the VS Code and let's look at some more commands which might be helpful. You can use preview logs command. It shows all the logs for the existing environment. We can do preview ls. Preview ls list all the preview environments. Preview URL show up all the existing URL for the environment. Preview profile LS shows list of all profiles we have. Preview down command deletes the preview environment. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you have any question or comment, join our community and share your feedback. Thank you.